Hello Grade 11s, today we are going to be taking a look at the concept of the nature of roots. Do you know what a root is in mathematics? When we solve an equation, we find a solution for the variable. This means that we find a value for x. This is referred to as the root of the equation. When a question asks us to find the nature of the roots, it is asking us to determine if the roots will be real, undefined or rational. To determine this, we use part of the quadratic formula. Let's look at it again. The quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. When we are determining the nature of the root of an equation, or we could say the type of root of an equation, we particularly look at the part of the quadratic equation that falls underneath the square root sign. Therefore, the part of the quadratic formula that we use to determine the nature of the roots is the b squared minus 4ac. This is the formula that we use to describe what kind of roots or solutions for x we will get. We also sometimes refer to this formula as the discriminant and is shown by the symbol delta. The reason why we use this formula to determine the nature of the roots of the equation is because the type of number being square rooted will completely determine the type of number we get for x. For example, in this quadratic formula, x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 25, all over 2. The number underneath the square root in this case is 25, which is a perfect square. So if we solve for x, the root of the equation will be x is equal to 7 over 2 or x is equal to negative 3 over 2. These roots of 7 over 2 and negative 3 over 2 are real numbers because it exists and rational because it either has recurring decimals or its decimal ends somewhere. Therefore, the nature of the root of this equation is real and rational. If the number underneath the square root was a number that is not a perfect square, such as the example, x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 20 all over 2, then the solution to the equation will still be real, but it would be irrational. Thus, the nature of the root will be real and irrational. Real because it exists, and irrational because there is no recurring decimals and the decimals go on forever. Let's revise that again. The discriminant is the number under the square root sign. If the discriminant is a perfect square, the roots will be real and rational. If the discriminant is not a perfect square, the roots will be real and irrational. Let's see what happens if the discriminant is negative. The square root of a negative number is an imaginary or non-real number. If the discriminant is a negative number, the roots of the equation will be non-real. Finally, if there is a discriminant that is actually equal to zero, for example, x is equal to two plus or minus the square root of zero, all over two, then the roots of the equation will be x is equal to one, or x is equal to one. This means that the two roots are equal to each other. Therefore, when the value under the square root is equal to zero, the nature of the root is equal. Let's summarize all this information. Remember that we use the symbol of delta to represent the discriminant. The discriminant is the number under the square root sign in the quadratic formula. If delta is greater than zero, the equation has two real roots. If delta is equal to zero, the equation has equal roots. If delta is less than zero, the equation has no real roots or non-real roots. And if delta is a perfect square and a, b and c are rational, then the equation has real, rational roots. Take a moment to write these down. Let us look at an example of applying this theory of nature of roots. Prove that the equation x squared minus 2x plus 5 equals 0 has non-real roots. We use the formula delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac 
and we substitute the value of the a, b, and c from the quadratic equation. In this example, the a is 1, and the b is negative 2, and the c is 5. Once we have substituted, we find that delta is equal to negative 16. Delta is therefore negative, thus the root of the equation x squared minus 2x plus 5 equals 0 are non-real. Thank you for joining us grade 11s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the equations and inequalities task video. You'll also be able to learn more about equations and inequalities on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.